For making my Christmas ball, my Christmas ornament, I will use uh, this uh, thread, this yarn, very very thin and it's actually made from polyester but it looks like and feels like cotton. Uh, I will work on a 1.5 crochet hook and I will also need, as always, scissors and that's it. I will not need anything more. We will do two halves like this. And after making a second one, we will join them together. So they will, there will be done exactly the same way. Just last round will be slightly different in the second, in second half of our ball. So let's start from the beginning and let's start from one, from first half. And I will show you step by step how to do it. And then I will show you also last round of second half. Okay, let's start. I will start making my first half of my ball uh, with chain 10. It's always hard to work at the beginning, especially in uh, so tiny yarn. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I will do slip stitch in first in first one and slip stitch in last one and I win my circle from chain 10 I will make chain 3 as first double crochet and now I will do another 23 double crochet inside the circle so at the end I will have like 24 because my chain 3 is like uh, double crochet Just proceed with 23 uh, double crochet and let's meet at the end of the round when we will have 23 double crochet plus chain 3 at the very beginning. I'm finishing my first round 22, 23 and 24 including my chain 3 at the beginning and I end this round with the slip stitch in 1, 2, 3 of first chain and this is my first round and it's done what I will do now will be chain 4 and now we will do uh, 8 sets of three triple crochet which will be ending like in a common top so I yarn over twice I put a hook over another double crochet under two loops and I have four uh, loops on my hook and now I pull the yarn through two loops and then pull the yarn through another pull two loops and that's it I'm not doing anything more I'm not ending my treble crochet and then I grab the yarn again twice and over another double crochet under two loops I do third triple crochet but also I'm not finishing it and I have three loops on my hook, but three only because first treble crochet is not really treble crochet, but uh, chain four. Next time we will have four loops on my hook. And now I grab the yarn and pull through all three loops on my hook. And now I do chain seven. Again yarn over twice and over another double crochet from first round under two loops 
I do another triple crochet but also not finished. That's why I'm left now with two loops, not one, uh, as in uh, chain four. And again, twice, and again over another double crochet under two loops, another triple crochet but not finished, and I have three loops on my hook, and again over another double crochet from previous round, my third triple crochet, and as I mentioned before, I have now four loops on my hook, and I grab the yarn and pull through all four loops, and I have another three double crochet, uh, tri triple crochet, which actually end uh, all together on top. And then again, I'm doing seven chain seven, and I continue until the end of the round. So three triple crochet, which end together on top, and chain seven. And until I reach here and I will show you how we end this round. I'm doing my last two triple crochet, not finished triple crochet, and last one. And again I pull the loop through all four loops on my hook and again chain seven. Now I do slip stitch top of first chain and I have my second round done. Now I will do four single crochet, chain three, four single crochet in every chain seven, like under every chain seven. One, two, three, and four, and now chain three, and again just four single crochet under chain seven. And we just do it under every chain seven, and we'll meet at the end of the round. I'm doing last three single crochet under my last chain seven, and under first single crochet from this round. I do slip stitch and I have my another round done. Now we are starting round four and we need to actually reach under this chain three here. So we will do slip stitches under two loops of every single crochet before uh, chain three. Okay, and another one, and another one. So we have four together because we started from first slip stitch at the beginning and now we are under chain three and we do also slip stitch and we can start actually our round from here. And what, what we will do now will be chain three, S double crochet, now we will do second double crochet, chain three, And again, two double crochet under chain three from previous round. So we have uh, two double crochet, chain three, and two double crochet mm -hmm. under chain three from previous round. Now we are doing chain five. And again, two double crochet chain three, two double crochet under chain three, chain five, two double crochet under another chain three, chain three, two double crochet, chain five, and just continue until uh, you get to the end chain three from previous round. I will just do another two 
double crochet under chain three from pre previous round. Yeah, my dog is really, really loud. Right, so I have two double crochet, chain three, two double crochet, and now chain five. And again, two double crochet, three, uh, chain three, two double crochet. Just continue until the end of the round. And I'm finishing my round four, so I did my last two double crochet, chain three, two double crochet, and I'm doing my last one, two, three, four, five, chain five. And I do slip stitch in third chain here. And I have my round four done. Now I need to go under again chain three. So I do another slip stitch over double crochet here under two loops. And another slip stitch under chain three. And I'm here already and I can start uh, round five. What I will do now will be chain four as triple crochet and now we will do another eight triple crochet so we can have nine triple crochet under chain three. And we do it to the end. We need to have nine here. I have my nine uh, triple crochet done. Actually, one uh, chain four and eight triple crochet under this first chain three. And now under chain five, I will do double crochet. And again, under chain three, I will do nine triple crochet. And just continue like this until the end of the round. Curva. Until the end of the round. So under every chain three, you do nine triple crochet. And under chain five, you do just one double crochet. And let's meet at the end of the round. I'm finishing my round five. I did last nine treble crochet under chain three. So I do my last double crochet under chain five. And now in uh, last chain in chain four, I do slip stitch. And I have my fifth round done. What I will do now will be slip stitch between first and second triple crochet from previous round. And I'm now like between first and second now and I start round six. I'm starting from making chain four as double crochet and chain one. Now I do double crochet between every triple crochet uh, from previous round. So I did like first between first and second treble crochet and now between second and third treble crochet I do double crochet and chain one and again double crochet between third and fourth treble crochet and chain one. And between every treble crochet I do double crochet and 
Hmm. And between every treble crochet I do double crochet and chain one. And now I'm between 8th and 9th treble crochet and here I will do only double crochet without chain 1. Now I will do double crochet inside this double crochet from previous round. Again no chain and again between 1st and 2nd treble crochet from next from like next set of nine treble crochet, I do again double crochet and chain one. And again between second and third, double crochet and chain one. And I continue until the end of the set of nine uh, treble crochet. Between eighth and ninth, I do double crochet without chain one. Again, double crochet inside this double crochet from previous round and again no chain and again uh, double crochet between first and second treble crochet and I will continue like this until the end of the round. I'm doing my last treble crochet uh, inside second slot from the end but I'm not finishing it again. I have two loops on my hook and again treble crochet inside this middle crochet, uh, middle double crochet here. If you do it under two loops, it will not be directly over this double crochet. So you need to do it inside this double crochet, somewhere, anywhere, but inside, not under two loops. And again, I'm not finishing it. And I have three loops on my hook. And now I'm not making a third treble crochet because actually I have it here. We started from five, chain five. So a treble crochet and chain one. So I'm putting my hook in fourth chain from this chain five. And I have now four loops on my hook and again, I grab the yarn and pull through all four loops and I have my uh, seventh, I guess, round finished. Now I'm doing my last round uh, of this half of my ball. So how it looks like in the previous round. I have three treble crochet connected together on top and again I have three treble crochet separated. And again, I have three treble crochet connected on top. So I have like four slots between these three here. And what I do now will be chain five, single crochet between these three and this one treble crochet under chain one. Now I do chain six, double crochet under chain one between like in another slot now I do again chain six again double crochet under chain one into another slot again chain six single crochet inside my last slot under chain one and chain five and I do single crochet here like on top of these three treble crochet from previous round I can do it under these two loops here 
single crochet. And that is how I will do uh, this round. So again, chain five, single crochet under chain one, chain six, double crochet under chain one, another chain one of course, in another slot, chain six, double crochet in another slot under chain one, chain six, uh, single crochet inside another slot under chain one and chain five and single crochet over these three here under two loops and just continue like this until you reach the end and then just do slip stitch and you have your uh, last round done and actually do the same half of your ornament just accept this last round with these uh, chains here because we will have to do them a little bit different because on this uh, level we will connect second half with this first half so just proceed until this row here and do not do this last round with these chains here I will show you how we are doing this last round in our uh, second half of uh, of the ball okay I have almost done my second half first one is done uh, as you saw uh, before and as I mentioned I will do last row a little bit different than in first half because I will have to connect these two uh, halves together so we're starting uh, last round with five uh, with chain five like in the first half we do single crochet under chain one now like before we do chain six and we do double crochet under another chain in next slot and now we will do chain six again but now we are doing chain two and from second half we find this longest chain in the middle in last round here this is the longest chain so chain six with two double crochet uh, at the beginning of each side and we put the hook under this chain from first half we yarn over and pull it under this chain and again through this loop we had on the hook and we had we have chain three now in the second half so three more and we have chain six and like before we do double crochet in next slot under chain one and again chain six single crochet under chain one in next slot chain five and on top of these uh, three triple crochet under two loops we are doing single crochet and again basically we are doing the same all the time so chain five single crochet right now under this chain here chain one chain six and in next slot under chain one double crochet 
Again, chain six, but we are doing only chain two at the beginning. And we are finding in our first half, again, next longest chain. So here was our chain six with two double crochet on both sides. So here we have again our longest chain. So chain six with two double crochet on both sides. And again, we put the hook under this chain grab the yarn and pull it under this chain and also through this loop we had already on our hook and we have chain three down now so one two three more and we have chain six here in our second half done and again we are doing double crochet under next uh, chain one into another slot and again chain six single crochet in another slot under chain one and chain five and single crochet over these three triple crochet under two loops and we have our next uh, set of uh, chains done and basically we are doing all the same uh, all around uh, so we will have eight connections here between these two halves and this uh, ball actually will be finished so when I will have these two sides uh, these two halves connected together the last thing I will have to do uh, will be hardening of our ball I use for hardening uh, potato starch uh, with the hot water and I put the balloon inside my bowl uh, and blow it of course until I have the um, size I want and I wait until it will dry uh, it's like around 12 hours during the night or so and I actually remove the balloon after that and I have uh, my bowl ready so I hope you like the movie and uh, if you liked it just also click like under the movie uh, and I hope you, that you will subscribe my channel because I try to add more and more movies uh, and share with you my ideas for uh, things on crochet.